Hello, welcome to everybody. My name is Anka Leśniak and I come from Poland. I am connected with two cities in Poland, Łódź and Gdańsk. The first one is called the city of women because uh, in the 19th century and during the communist regime Łódź was a city of uh, textile industry and most of the workers were women. It's also the city with strong tradition in art. It was here where the second museum of modern art in the world has been established. Today I'm in Łódź, in my studio, but I'm also spending a lot of time in Gdańsk where I teach at the Sculpture and Intermedia Faculty of the Academy of Fine Arts. Gdańsk is a city at the Baltic Sea and it was the city where the democratic changes in the Central Eastern Europe began in the 80s. A series of works which is very important to me includes site-specific installation on facades of abandoned buildings. The title of this series is Invisible, Invisible. I'm interested in women disconnected from history for various reasons ignored by it. To me, the characters that are uncomfortable and ambiguous are important. These forgotten women and abandoned houses have something in common for me. The invisible is to me that which we do not want to see, that which is repressed and covered up by the generally accepted view of reality, society and history. I would like also mention the project Women Patriots based on the story of women from the turn of 19th and 20th century who fought for the independence of Poland. As women wore long dresses and hats in the time, it was easier for them to smuggle the weapons and bombs used in terrorist attacks. Although the project was inspired by the past events, in my opinion it fits into the current vivid debate on the notion of patriotism in relation to such concepts as sovereignty, nation and struggle. It also asks the question, where is the border between patriotism and terrorism and what is the role of women in such activities? I work in different media, mostly in installation art, video art, performance art and I also make photo collages. The main method of my work is artistic research and artistic investigation. I started my individual artistic practice more than a decade ago. I could say, look into the past if you want to know something about the future. I'm interested in the events and people uh, whose stories seem to me important nowadays. And I'm also very much inspired by other women artists, such as Polish women artists from the 70s, who, despite the obstacles, began to show feminist art in Poland. And of course, I get a lot of inspiration from the Fraxia group, the collective of wonderful women artists I belong to.
I'm presenting a video work entitled The Social Distance. It's a short video. It's also a part of the Fraxia Diary project realized by the Fraxia group when the pandemic has begun. For 66 days, between March and May 2020, we published posts at our Facebook fan page. We posted either our new artworks or documentation of our previous works with a comment related to pandemic situation, its causes and political and social consequences. My video work was recorded at the Baltic Seashore, that is 10 minutes walk from my apartment in Gdańsk. When the lockdown had begun and it was not possible to participate in social life and cultural events, I decided to walk every day the distance of five kilometers uh, just to keep my body and mind in shape. Uh, my intention was also to record every day the sea and observe how it changes depending on the weather. And one day when I came to the beach, I saw a red tape stretch across the entrance to the beach with the information that no one is allowed to enter. The video also shows that the word distance refer more to the borders, boundaries and difficulties related to crossing them than to a real physical distance between two places on the earth. It seemed to me that my video work recorded at the seashore during the pandemic referred on many levels to the title of the festival. I also like the idea of the festival a lot. I see that the organizers are open to various ways of artistic expression and they don't exclude anybody. You can visit my website. Here you can see the photos and you will also find some of my video works. Here is more information on the Invisible Invisible project, but the website is still only in Polish. I also recommend my book where you will find my thoughts on my artistic practice. This is the book. The title is Invisible Invisible, Women Disconnected from History, Site-Specific Artworks on Abandoned Buildings. That means on the facades on abandoned buildings. So you can read the book it's available for free at the Academia. Academia is a website for scholars. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the interview and uh, see you soon at the Lacuna Festival's online events. Ciao, bye bye.